Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fad. in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful long image scrolling on hover animation within desktop mockup by using Elementor. I will show you everything step by step so you can use it to showcase all your portfolios or if you want you can use it on different sections of your website like this. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. By the way we will be using Elementor's new flexbox container in this tutorial. So just go to your WordPress dashboard and make sure from Elementor's settings, go under experiments and from there make sure the flexbox container is set to active. Alright. Now to take a new container let's click on this plus icon and I'm taking this two container structure. And here first of all I want to add some space at the top and bottom so go under advanced tab from here unlink the padding and only at the top and bottom I'm adding 100 pixel of padding. Now here within instead of two container I want to add another container so let's just duplicate one of them. Right now we have three containers within the main parent container. Alright let's now start with the middle container. First go under its advanced tab because I want to add some padding. I'm adding 10 pixel of padding with this container. Now within this I want to take another inner container. So click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging this container widget here. Then here within this inner container let's click on this plus icon because I want to add an image here. So from left let's drag this image widget inside here. Click here on choose image. I'm selecting this desktop mockup image. I will be putting this images download link in the description. So for now click on insert media. Then from here image size I'm making it full and from under style tab make sure the image width is 100%. Alright now underneath this image I wanna take another container. So from here click on this Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm dragging this container underneath this image here. So make sure you have selected this container. First of all I'm making its content width to full width and here the width by default it's set to percentage. I want to keep it in percentage and here I'm making it 91.6%. You need to put the width exactly 91.6% otherwise the ratio won't work. Alright now go under the style tab and here I just want to take a temporary color so from the background type let's select the color picker I'm taking a temporary reddish color like this. Alright so now within this container I want to take a spacer widget so click on this plus icon here I'm dragging this spacer widget within this container here. By default the spacer space is 50 pixel I'm keeping it like this at this point. Now just select this container. Okay now my goal is to make its position above this mockup here. To do it just go under its advanced tab. From here first of all I wanna set its position to absolute. So from here position I'm making it to absolute. You see it's already above this mockup here but I need to set its positioning properly. So from here the horizontal orientation. The offset I'm um, first selecting it in percentage and here I'm giving the offset value to 4.15. Then here the vertical orientation I'm giving its offset value in percentage and let's set the value to 5%. And then let's scroll up from here and link the padding. I'm giving the padding in percentage. Then on the top I'm giving it 51.5%. Now the very last thing you remember we have added a spacer widget within this container. So select this spacer and here the space value I'm making it to 0. Alright so we're done with the ratio now instead of this reddish color I want to use here the image basically the long image. Alright so let's select this container. Go under its style tab. So now from here if you want you can remove this color. So from here I'm removing this reddish color and instead of this solid color I will be using the image. So let's choose the image and from here I'm selecting this image. This is one of the long images. By the way if you wanna take long image screenshots of your websites or web pages only to give you an example if we go to this website let's say if you wanna take a full page screenshot of this web page 
then you can just install an chrome extension that says go full page so after installing that google extension you can see an icon a camera looking icon if you click on this camera looking icon it starts taking the screenshot of this whole web page and then you can download the image from here just click on this download image icon it's downloaded on your desktop so basically i have taken all these screenshots in this way let's select the long image and click on insert media now we need to set its position correctly so first of all position i'm making it to top center attachment to scroll repeat to no repeat and from here size i'm making it custom and make sure the width is set to 100 percent all right now i want to add the hover animation so to do it just go under here click on hover from the background type click on this classic icon and here i want to insert the same image here as well so click on this image i'm selecting the same long image click on insert media and now you we only need to do one thing from here the position on hover i want to set it to bottom center so if we now hover over on this mock-up you see it jumps to the bottom of this long image but to me it's looking too fast so i want to reduce the duration time here is set to transition duration to 0.3 second but instead of that i'm setting it as three so that's three second if we now hover over on this mock-up we can see it's scrolling very smoothly i really really like it so now if you want you can just duplicate this outer container this one let's duplicate this and i want to duplicate it one more time let's duplicate it then from the left and right i'm removing the empty containers like this now from left let's select this inner container go to its style tab and let's change this image with this image click on insert media also go to its hover and replace this image with the same image the image we have used on the normal state so click on insert media also with the third one select this inner container go under its style tab from here let's replace this image i'm selecting this one click on insert media also go to its hover and replace the image with this one click on insert media so if we now hover over on this image or this one or the third one all of them are working perfectly now the very last thing i just want to check how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so to check its responsiveness from here click on this responsive mode icon first of all let's go to tablet device on the tablet device everything is looking perfect you may remember we have given all the major proportions in percentage and that's why they are automatically becoming responsive all right let's now go to the mobile device on the mobile device everything is looking okay but it seems like they are going outside of the mock-up sometimes it happens i know it's very weird so to get rid of it just select the inner container this one from the width let's make it again 91.6 percent so let's do the same with other inner containers with this one let's select it from under layout let's make the width to 91.6 percent oops not in pixel just set it in percentage and from here i'm making it 91.6 percent also with the third one select this inner container go to its layout from here first make the width in percentage and make it 91.6 percent so they are now looking great on mobile device if we go to tablet on the tablet device they are looking and working perfectly and if we go back to the desktop device everything is working perfectly so when you are happy with your work don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally.
Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.